beautiful friends it's Amanda here and today we're going to talk about the new face brushes from Singe Beauty. I made a little short video unboxing these brushes that I posted here on my YouTube shorts and also over on Instagram. Quite a few people responded that they wanted a full YouTube video so today I'm going to use all of these brand new brushes. You're going to get to see them in action and I'm also going to give you my thoughts along the way. There's also two new eyeshadow brushes. I used these for the look that I'm wearing right now. I will link the tutorial video so you can see the two new eye brushes in action in that one. But today I'm just going to focus on the face brushes. A couple of important things I just want to point out before I get into the review portion. Most of you know by now Singe Beauty is Angelica Nyquist's brand. She is my friend. So I think that's important for you to know. I'm talking about a product that my friend made that's somebody that I care about and love and like in real life. So, you know, I'm not going to sit here and say I'm completely unbiased. Just imagine anything that somebody in your life, family member, bestie, created in the world. You're going to want to be excited about it. Now, with that being said, because Angie's my friend and I love her, if her brushes sucked, I would just not make a YouTube video about them. I would not come on here and give them a bad review. I'm going to be completely honest about that. Wouldn't do it. It's just not in my nature. If these brushes sucked, or even if they were just kind of meh and I didn't care about them, I would just not make a YouTube video about them. I'm not going to sit on video and blast something that somebody I care about made because that sucks. Other people can do it. That's fine. I don't think that that's bad. I don't think it's wrong for people to do that. They're giving an honest review. Love that. I'm going to continue to give honest reviews as well because at the end of the day, Singe Beauty doesn't pay my bills, but Angie's my friend. So I feel like you're picking up what I'm putting down. Another important thing, these face brushes were sent to me in PR all of my other Singe Beauty brushes I've purchased myself. I bought the first eye set that they came out with and I loved it so much that I bought a second set so that I can always have <laughs> clean Singe Beauty brushes. So I did not purchase these with my own dollars and cents, but I would have. <laughs> and I'll probably buy a second set because <laughs> that seems to be a pattern for me. Now, I'm not an affiliate. This isn't sponsored. I'm not paid. I don't have a coupon code. None of that. I just want to be all above board and all out there. I'm going to show you each one of these brushes close up as we go through the look, and I'll also show you each one of them in action, and I'll give you all the info and all my thoughts along the way. Let's flash back to No Makeup Amanda, and we'll get into the fun part of putting my makeup on using these brushes. Before we get to the brushes, No Makeup Amanda is here to remind you that you need to wear your SPF every day, even if it's winter time, even if it's rainy, even if you're just going to be in the car. Don't forget to wear your SPF. It's good for your skin, and I love your face, so take good care of it. Now, after your daily SPF reminder, let's talk about these brushes. They range in price from 21 to 26 US dollars a piece. However, if you want the whole set of all seven face brushes, there is a discounted bundle that is 145. If you purchased all seven of these individually, it would be 167. So that's a pretty decent little discount. There are also brand new outer carton boxes for these new brushes and I believe all the eye brushes will also come in these new boxes. Just a little detail I wanted to share. Now let's get into the actual makeup application. I'm going to be doing a little foundation combo here. I like the two of these together to give me not only my perfect shade match, but these blend together for a really nice coverage and finish that I enjoy. And I will be blending in this foundation combo using the F01 brush. This brush is $25 if it's purchased individually. 
It has synthetic bristles. All of these brushes are synthetic bristles. They are completely vegan. So all of my vegan and cruelty-free friends out there, you are cleared for takeoff with these Singe Beauty brushes. I was a little bit nervous about this foundation brush because it is not as dense as the foundation brushes I typically reach for. I am a I am a descendant of the Real Techniques expert face brush times and I've recently become a big fan of the BK Beauty 101 brush and those are a lot shorter and denser bristles, really densely packed and really solid feeling. So I was afraid that with these more loose, more soft bristles that I wouldn't get a decent blend on my foundation. But I was pleasantly surprised with the quick and even application that I got from this brush. Wasn't expecting to like it as much as I did. Now we're going to apply some concealer. I'm using the Kosas Revealer Concealer. I'll list all the shades for all of these products in the description box if you're curious about that. I'm going to blend this concealer in with the F02 brush. This one is $24 if purchased individually. And... I will just give you a spoiler for this entire review. This is my favorite brush of the bunch. I have nothing else like this. The shape is so unique. The density is perfect. It's not so dense that it's hard to blend. It still has enough give that I get a really diffused blend, but not so much that I'm losing coverage from my product. The shape is unlike any other concealer brush I've ever used. I'm I'm a concealer brush girly, and this is probably the most unique and just quick, easy concealer brush that I've ever used. I 10 out of 10 recommend this one specifically, even if nothing else catches your eye here, even if you're not really in the market for face brushes, which I get, you know, it's expensive. You may already have ones that you love. This one is the absolute gem of the collection. I do end up liking pretty much all these brushes, but the F02 is just such a convenient shape. It's not so small that it takes a million years to blend everything out. It's not so big that I can't get those little detail areas around the eyes and the nose. You can see here in zoomed in video that my concealer is evenly blended. It was quick and easy and it looks great. It looks flawless. Now I'm gonna use a little bit of Hourglass setting powder. I'm specifically just going to be setting the areas where I applied concealer with the F04 brush. This is a medium-sized, long-bristled, sort of paddle-shaped powder brush. I do see myself pretty much just using this for setting powders, but I could also see this being a great chiseling contour type of product application brush as well. That's just not a step of makeup that I typically do very often, if at all. So this is a much more useful, useful way for me to incorporate this brush into my routine. And it definitely reminds me of a slightly larger version of the Real Techniques setting brush that I have loved and used for many, many years, probably a decade. Now I'm going to set the rest of my face with a little bit more glowy powder that has a little bit of tint to it. This is the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Natural. And for the larger areas of my face, I'm using the F05 brush. This is the most expensive one of the bunch. It's $26 just for the individual brush. And this picked up just the right amount of powder for me. I did want to set everything. This does add a little teeny tiny bit of coverage. So this brush just was the perfect balance for this particular setting powder action. Now I'm going to use a little bit of bronzer. This is the ColourPop Super Shock Bronzer, and it is tricky to apply with a brush. 
I'm going to use the F06 brush, which is $22. And I went straight in with the brush because these are synthetic bristles. You can pick up Super Shock products with just about anything that has a synthetic bristle on it. I just really got in there and swirled the brush around. I did find that I needed to go back in and pick up more and more product than I typically do if I use a brush with a little bit more densely packed bristle. But you can see I'm definitely getting pigmentation. I am picking up product here. This is also a very, very light bronzer. So that's contributing to my need to layer up a little bit. At the end of the day, it worked, but I think there's probably a better use for this particular brush in my personal makeup routine. So I'm gonna keep working on that. Now I'm gonna use a little bit of this Finding Ferdinand blush. This was from Khaki's Summer Abroad collaboration, and I'm going to be applying this cream blush with the F03 brush. I just dipped straight into the pot, just gave it a little tiny tap. This brush picked up just the right amount of product that I was looking for. It layered and blended beautifully. Keep in mind, I'm applying this over an already powdered face and the brush and the blush are working together perfectly. I didn't get any disturbance of my foundation, concealer, setting powder underneath. Very, very happy with that brush as well. And last, I'm going to apply a little bit of powder highlighter and I'm going to use the F07 brush. This one is 21 US dollars and I would say this is a small side of medium tapered face brush. It reminds me of an XL version of an eyeshadow blending brush. So it's perfect for targeted application. Something like a highlighter is perfectly suited to this brush and it was just quick and easy. I know everybody has their own preferences when it comes to highlighting. I prefer a tapered brush. I know some people like a fan brush, some people like an angled brush. For me, this is what works best. And here is my finished face. I feel that this is a very flawless makeup application. I do want to point out that there's also a sponge and a velvet puff that I didn't receive in my PR package, but I did just order those along with a backup of the F02 brush because like I said, I love it so much and I need backups all the time. So I did order those things. I'll keep you posted on how the sponge and the puff work for me. All in all, incredibly happy with how all of these brushes performed. I think the application was easy, flawless. The blending looks great. I'm not really having the best skin time of my life this winter, so I am very pleased with this result. I also quickly wanted to show you a comparison of 01, 03, and 05, because if you see them individually, they look really similar. One and five are a similar shape. Five's just bigger and three is more densely packed and a little bit more domed. So that's the difference between those three. Overall, all of these brushes worked really, really nicely for me. I do have some favorites though. If I had to pick just one favorite brush from this new face collection, it would be the FO2. I don't have anything like this. This is such a unique brush. The shape, the size is perfect. It blended my concealer so quickly and easily. I don't feel like I lost any of the coverage from my concealer. It just fit perfectly in all those little spots that's kind of annoying to get into the corners around the eyes, the nose. It also has enough surface area that even when I was blending concealer in larger areas, it didn't take a million billion years. So if I had to pick one exceptional favorite. You can only keep one Desert Island Singe Beauty face brush. It would be the FO2. This is so cool. I am going to be using this every single time I do my makeup. Sometimes I don't even wear foundation. A lot of the time I don't wear foundation, but I'll usually do concealer or put just a little skin tint on, and I can see this working for those lighter days as well. So this is my favorite. They're all really nice, but this is the best one for me. Very, very pleasantly surprised by the F01 for the all over foundation. I typically use a much larger and much more dense brush. 
So I was a little wary of the more flexible bristles here. It still has a lot of density to it. As you can see, it did blend out my foundation nicely. It's a lot more flexible than what I typically go for. And it worked so beautifully. I was expecting streak marks or brush marks or whatever because of the more give in the bristles and I didn't have any of that and I felt like it was still super quick and easy even though it's about half the size of the foundation brushes I usually use so I was very very pleasantly surprised by this one. The one I think I need to work with more to hit my stride with is the F06. That's this angled brush that's really really flexible. I think perhaps I just didn't use the perfect product for this one because I use that super shock bronzer and that is a really tricky formula to work with. So I want to try this with a powder bronzer because I think that could be a lot more successful. I really like the shape and the size. I love how soft and flexible this is because I do think I'm going to get a really diffused look from it and that's what I like. So I'm going to have to keep working with this one but I do think this is a really interesting and unique brush too. I think maybe my lack of success was a user error, but you know, live and learn. We're all just figuring it out as we go along, right? It's not just me. Now's the time when I want to hear what you think about these new face brushes. Are you interested in these? Which brush shapes have you intrigued? I always love to hear what you think about things too, so make sure you leave all your thoughts down in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. 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 Hello? Is this thing on? <laughs> hey, let's go. That was weird. I did film this eye look. Believe it or not, this is a palette bingo look. So go check it out. I was really happy with how it turned out. See? Oh, eh, eh. Okay, I'm fine. I love seeing my friends do well. I love, I mean, I like seeing anybody do well, but especially when my friends are killing it. I feel such a sense of personal satisfaction. <laughs> Not like personal pride, but I am proud of them. But it's just like, it's just like I'm winning when my friends are winning. We're all in it together. And when they're doing well, it feels like by proxy I'm doing well. And I can coast off that for a while. These purple nails are everything. I always link my nail polish in the description box, but this combo though is, ooh, it's so good. Yes, I tried to do a matching nail. It's not quite perfect, but if you go watch the eyeshadow video, you'll know why that is, okay? Through no fault of my own. Did the best I could. All right, thanks for watching. I love your face so much. I'm glad that you're here, and I'll see you in another one real soon. Have a great day. And if you don't have a great day, that's okay. Tomorrow would most likely be better. Either way, I'm here for you and I love your face. Okay, bye.